so in this question uh, let's see a simple model of an atom has three energy levels the differences between the adjacent energy levels are shown what are the two smallest frequencies in the emission spectrum of this atom again i told you like uh, in couple of questions earlier that there will be some questions which would be talking about the minimum frequency or the maximum frequency also so there it is so we want to have the smallest frequency so energy is given by h nu so smallest frequency means that you are concerned with the smallest energy smallest energy means smallest energy gap so smallest energy gap can be found in this and this smallest frequency because there is a third possibility also that electron is jumping from top from the third level to the first level but again the gap of energy will be really very big so the frequency will be higher for that but we want to have uh, the two smallest so this is going to be the smallest then this and then the third one but we want to find the last two so one is this another is this so in the case of first the energy is given by 6.63 10 raised to power minus 19 that will be now equated with hc by lambda but we want to find the frequency so it will be h nu and clearly the frequency in the first case can be taken to be divided by planck's constant in which it is also 6.636 10 raised to power minus 34 this can be just taken over like it's approximately one only and this will be 10 raised to power 34 minus 19 so uh uh how much is this now 34 minus 19 is uh 4 5 10 15 so it is approximately equal to 10 above 15 and that even positive so either c or d is the answer now we are going for the second case so second case energy is 13.3 into 10 raised to power minus 19 by using the same formulation, we would be dividing it by 6.636, 10 raised to power minus 34. So this is going to give you the same value, 10 raised to power 15. And what about this, 2 or 3? So it's approximately 2, isn't it? Like we can clearly say it, 6 to the 12. So it's approximately 2. And clearly the answer will be C. So this is how we do this question, my dear student. And um, let us see the mark scheme also to verify the answer in this case. And yes, the answer is clearly C. So this is how we do this question. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for all the other benefits. You can clearly, uh, you can go to the YouTube channel, see whatever, what are the things that I am providing you with. Okay. All the best. Please share the video with your friends.